All right, what's going on, everybody? This is your boy Tig of um, Project Open Mic and TT Records. Hope y'all are doing a good day. It's Friday. Hope everything's good. Hope your Friday went as well, and the weekend's here, so it is what it is. So let's have a conversation about some interesting stuff that happened this week. So it's good to be back. I got the crew back with me again this time, so not solo, but hey, it was cool. I had a chat with you guys. I might do a Q&A question for the time of the beginning of 2021. We'll see how that works out right now. So, hey, let's see how it goes. I'm going to bring on the people um, on. That's what we're supposed to be. All right, here we go. So, hopefully everybody's there. Uh, Mr. Tripp, how you doing? I'm still here. Uh, Hi, Kanoshi. <laughs> okay, well, Trip, you're there now. How you doing? Uh, well, good evening, gents. It seems like I had my own technical difficulties on my side, but yes, I'm finally back from from last week. Hopefully, we got something going on here. Well, I shouldn't say hopefully because we do have something that's going on here. So, let's get on the road and discuss some shenanigans, shall we? What about you, Kanoshi? That's Kanoshi Abomination. We're here to say that uh, Biden right now is saying that is if he's coherent enough, I would have gotten away with it. I would have gotten away with it if it weren't for those meddling kids and their stupid dog. <laughs> <laughs> and cameras. And cameras. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yes. Um, Edison, are you there, sir? Let's get the show on already. Well, you, well, excuse me. <laughs> bada bing, bada boom. Anyway, so, um, basically, let me just, I, I, before, I thought, like, they were saying, I don't want to play this little clip right here, which basically explains everything. Where it put together, and you guys did, did it for our administration, the President Obama's administration, before this. We have put together, I think, the most extensive, and inclusive voter fraud organization in the history of American politics. And he ain't lying. He just, what Biden just said is exactly what's going on. The biggest voter fraud in American history. Wow. <laughs> he ain't joking when he said that. So, I mean, we got some stuff to talk tonight. First of all, I would like to say, while I'm looking at you guys right now, I'll put my face on me first, only. But um, first of all, I want to thank everybody who came through to um, Tempo FM last night. You guys gave us the biggest audience that we that I've ever seen. Thank you again. And yes, cheers, I, cheers. Anderson said, and I've said it again, I get it. You, Humans are, are a product of watching it a certain way. I get it. I don't understand. I have understandable. If any of you guys could go to YouTube and just subscribe, comment, thumbs up, thumbs down. I don't care. The help us out. We have 24 subs. It's crazy that we get this much views on Temple FM and people don't want to go over it. Just go over it. You get the same show through YouTube no matter what it is. But again, I understand. But you know, you just have to subscribe. You don't actually gotta watch it through YouTube. Just yeah, just if you have a, a YouTube account, just subscribe and then keep watching on Temple FM. Called last night, which I didn't think that my show would have gotten that much. I really didn't. But I was thinking I might get maybe about sixteen hundred, but I got sixteen thousand. So that's whoop, whoop. crazy. Huh? Oh, I just said whoop whoop. Yeah, that's a crazy part of people. Uh, thank you guys for giving giving your time and air talking about last night. Last for those who didn't saw last night's show was about basically the, uh, we were talking about the coronavirus and logically going in from the beginning, like going straight through all the way the conclusion everything. But just talked it logically, not as a doctor, not as just taking the simple evidence, simple data, and pro and make it process to your minds. And you saw me work out the math and everything right on screen, so you guys could see what I was talking about. The probability of dying from this this virus you saw that using not only using their using the who and cdc's numbers and everything you saw it on screen so hey thank you guys for watching maybe that maybe the the, the um 
the title was catching. I don't know. I mean, because like I said, it was what. Uh, let's take a deep breath, and let's log and let's logically talk about the virus. So it basically, huh, it, it did well. So thank you for that. So I um so that's that, but today some uh, some news has come out, man. It's who some it's some crazy news, and that's why I played that clip up front with Biden saying this is the greatest voter fraud in in history. Now. <laughs> I don't care too much. You know what? I, I really don't want the, 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 again, I'm biased. I'm not going to lie to anybody. I'm libertarian, but still, I'd rather have a balance of powers than one power again. I, I don't want the Dems to get all full powers. No, I do not want that because they're going to do some really messed up S. So, yes, I do want the, the, the Republicans to keep the least the same. I don't care about Biden. And I, I know Harris, because like I said, we, we, we cheated it, everything again to that, but. Um, last week Sunday, it was us just talking naturally, you know, not, not on air, nothing. And Kenoshi asked a question about, do they have this much voter fraud in, um, elections? <laughs> the answer is really, do they always have voter fraud in election? Yes. You're not gonna get a hundred percent, you know, no. And I, and I understand and I know that. And in the, in the past, it wasn't, it wasn't enough, enough, agree, yeah. it was there, but it wasn't enough to change certain votes that much, except for what we know was, was in 2000 with uh in florida just within margin of error yeah but when you have as biden just as a, you just heard biden just said when you have so many people voting two months earlier than the election they don't they didn't ask for ballots because again i got seven ballots sent to my house i, I, I got them 10. all up huh i got 10 of those yeah, I tear them all up and put them in a uh, put them in the trash because uh, I went to vote in person. I mean, I, yours different because of how your how your state is in California, but no. Are you telling me that we would have never had at this mass? You say that seventy thousand, eighty thousand people vote, so almost hundred fifty thousand, fifty thousand million people vote. Yeah, that's the biggest vote turnout ever because they're the biggest. Yeah, this was unusual. You had the biggest, uh, you call it, period to um to to vote than ever because you only have like absolute violence and you have voting day. That's it, election day. But this was, of course, there was some shenanigans and a lot of shenanigans. Holy smoke! A lot. So before we, before I let these guys talk, I want to, I want to, I also want to play another video. Just uh, you guys, just give me give me a second. Let me play this so people got a context of what we. Roger what we that. Are. Because this is some some effery right here. Seriously. So let me play this for you for y'all. Hearing where it uncovered even more evidence like this: two thousand five hundred and six felons voted illegally in Georgia. 10,315 or more individuals to vote who are deceased by the time of the election. I voted in person on October 23rd. I was told that there was an absentee ballot already out for me, but I never requested one. The next day, um, my mom called the voter center and was told that somebody voted absentee in my name on October 7th. Those paper ballots were not secure. I don't care if you're a Democrat, a Republican, I hope you'll take what these people are telling you seriously. It's important. The people's voice matters in this country. And there's nothing to see here either, where security footage shows that the ballot observers were told to go home and the room almost completely cleared out. And then several boxes of ballots were discovered underneath tables and then counted. So according to the witnesses, the Republican observers, there is a lady who has blonde braids who comes out to announce we're going to stop counting. Everyone go home. And in fact, we see that. What happens is everyone clears out, including the Republican observers in the press, but four people stay behind and continue counting and tabulating well into the night. And we're gonna roll this back and show it to you. There you go. So now they're gonna start pulling these ballots out from under this table. I saw four suitcases come out from underneath the table. So wh what are these ballots doing there separate from all the other ballots? And why are they only counting them whenever the place is cleared out with no witnesses? Is the question. 
So these machines can process about 3,000 ballots an hour. You have multiple, multiple machines there, and they're there for two hours. So you do the math. How many ballots went through those machines in those two hours when there was no one there to supervise, to be present, consistent with your statutes and rules, to supervise the tabulation? We believe that could easily be, and probably is certainly, beyond the margin of victory in this race. Well, no wonder the media didn't show President Trump's 45-minute address this week of him raising these concerns. That would be very uncomfortable for the American people to know. Trump is so far gone that I cannot, in good conscience, play the substance of a 46-minute spiel that he spewed tonight. <laughs> You're hilarious, Fredo. You know what? And 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 just and I I, I got to give this one to you, Mr. Fr uh, Mr. Uh, Fr Cuomo's brother on CNN, because you that was crazy what you just stated right there. And you know why? Because you are what? You piece of loser. Exactly. That's what he is. Anyway, <laughs> let's get back. <laughs> let's get back to what it is. So I, for, for, the guys don't know what, the, what I just played was okay. We know they have like I showed you video of people basically boarding up so people can't see the votes. You see the woman. The, uh, I played a video earlier, earlier as well. So not earlier, but earlier in a couple of shows where they counting where they're supposed to be. Um, there's irregularities and one. There's one that came out in Michigan where you had more people voting than registered. And okay, more people voting than registered. Okay, it's funky. I would get. And yeah, I, that's. I said, Excuse me. And I said, you know what? 10, 10 okay, a hundred and five percent at the most. I could give you, I could give you that. Hundred and five percent at most, I give you that. But um it's seven hundred um seven hundred and eighty eighty percent. No. That's a that. big margin. That's that's humongous. Seven hundred eighty percent people voted more than they, than was registered. That is crazy. And oh yeah, Let, let's let's also ahead. talk about the fact that Hillary won two hundred more counties than Biden, and Hillary was far less likable than Biden. Yep, that is true. Also, Biden got more of the black vote than. Obama, and Obama, which yeah. is also WTF. Huh. Just a suspect. That one, not so much. That one, not so much. Why? Because remember, most people, most most people who vote for that, most black people who vote for Democrat are women. Most women gonna vote Democrat, and they will vote. They, they, a lot of women don't like Trump, so. They voted more. I could get that. Even though we had double for females for Trump and double for males for Trump as well, too. But we had yeah. also people who, 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 who didn't who, who voted and didn't know how to vote because I could, I could share that. Video. I might do that in another, like I said, let's wait and see because I, I might do a video just straight talk about that stuff maybe next week or whatever. But there was people now. Kenosha, you brought up a, not even Kenosha, Anderson, you brought up a question that people just voted for Biden and then left everything zero, right? And again, that part is not illegal. But what is illegal is they didn't fill out the ballot the right. They didn't circle the whole thing in. So if they didn't circle the whole thing in, like you know, you got to fill in, fill in a circle. You got to make it all the way black. Yep. Yeah. They didn't do that. Some people just put a slash. I'm like. We never did one of these before. Oh. So that's messed up. And some people vote put put Trump and other people like Trump and the Green Party. Like they thought it was just like a multi multiple selection. Not Trump, I mean Biden. No one thought of multiple selection. You know when you get to the word where they say select select all that applies. Some people like had Joe Biden and a Greenpeace party. Joe Biden and the Constitutional Party. If that's how it is. Those votes should have been thrown out. Of course, yeah, it wasn't. They were not. So, wow. funny how that works, don't it? <laughs> so we're gonna see what happened here. But that that video right there is damning. Because people estimate that could be twenty four thousand votes. 
that's a damning video. Yeah. That one right there, you can't argue the evidence of that one. That is that legitimately happened and that happened. And that's crazy. So I think Georgia should go back to where he was and let's finish that part. And he got Nevada's with their problem. I'm like, I gotta get to Rudy Giuliani. He's going around, he's doing a mini, he's like a mini Trump. He's going around to every daggone place and doing these <laughs> doing these um hearings. He was in Nevada, yeah. he went to Arizona, then Philadelphia, then to Georgia, now in Michigan. Jeez. Man, these old guys. Is, I don't know where they get their energy. Like, I know Trump is, get his energy from Woody. I don't know. He's just he he just irate somewhere. But I know Trump Trump that's what Trump does. But Rudy, he's like a walk machine. Yeah. Holy you know, he's I'm like, you pay him, that's your money's worth. Basically. Kenosha, I got a theory where I'm not sure I can even mention it here. <laughs> oh, you say they might not be of age. How about that? Of age or what? I agree. Con consent? Yeah. I thought so. Oh. Like, I'm just uh, trying to. Uh, What's the word you keep saying? I gotta use lager, Tack. subtle, tact, tactful. Gonna be tactful yeah. in case something happens, you know. Yeah, I think we're on the list. Well, yeah, but you trying to say that, what they, they they have it for hundred age women to to get energy? Maybe. I doubt that. <laughs> I really do doubt that. Yeah. Judy, like I said, he already went through enough divorce. I think he, he learned his lesson. <laughs> yes. He don't want to go through I, another, I don't think he wanna go to another divorce with another with his other with his wife. Just me. And say it to with Trump, don't win it, but he's different. Trump is 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 rich. But yeah. And people are like, oh well, we're both Stormy Daniels. Well, we found out he was again, it was consented one, two, it was before Melania and three. She didn't win that case, did she? Nope. She had to pay him. <laughs> and where is her lawyer? In jail. Yep. And CNN Brian Skelter's crazy butt thought that, well, you sound more rational. I can see you be the next president of the United States. Yeah, from jail he oh. is. Technically speaking, there's a lot of politicians that needs to go where, where he is. Yeah, well, exactly. Yeah, you can't you can't run for president as a felon, that's for sure. I mean, no, sure. no, you can't run as, you can't run as a felon if you were convicted of a felon, but you can't be a felon and still run if you never got caught. That is the difference. Uh, if you ain't get caught, you could do it because Hillary Clinton. Come on, uh, come nah, that's on. A good point. If you get caught, that's a different story. If you ain't get caught, you could still be a felon. Because the stuff that, again, that you just said it, what that video I just showed there earlier about the, the in Georgia, that is that voter fraud. That is literally just straight up um, illegal activities. Straight up. That's a felony in itself. That, as you said, Kodoshi, that, sh that should be treason. It should be, yeah. but we know they ain't, they're not going to let that, that black woman ain't gonna go nowhere. Yeah. Mm. They ain't gonna go nowhere. Uh, it's so frustrating. These people should be made to answer for their crimes. Uh, we'll see what happens. Yeah, but it. Well, it's up to the people. And the well, people are, are lazy. Well, I gotta, I, gotta, I gotta say, with the lockdowns coming down, I have to say, a lot more people have, be, have becoming a little more antsier, right? Um, people in, in Deutschland, you guys know it, because they have been, they've been doing a little um, themselves as well. Germany, Denver, uh, Poland, like they're really standing up against some of the stuff. So I hope you guys stand up for real and tell the people to get the F out. No, yep. Seriously. I hope so too. Yeah, they don't, I don't think much from the American people aside to be on YouTube talking about stuff and never doing anything. Well, I can't say that because what happened in Staten Island was crazy last yes um, yesterday. And boy, did that guy sound like the Italian mafia he did. 
Wow, that was good. I play that clip, and like I say I don't like having a lot of curse words on my on my on my show, but <laughs> that one I had to let go because that came that came from the heart. <laughs> <laughs> that came yeah. from the heart. That that guy was into this. He said, "I want this. I want." He sounded like those guys from the Goodfellas. Oh, I thought so, Sopranos. Nah, the reason I said Goodfellas because of the joke of what he said. Uh, he was like, "I want the people here. I want them dead. I want to see their feet right now. I want to like like how oh, he he was. He's like, I want you out here. It's six o'clock. I want you out here. I want this whole place blocked. I want this whole block shut down. I want everybody out here. Get your butt out here. I'm being nice because I don't want to curse. Get your butt out of in front of Max. Okay, he was dropping them f bombs. He's just sound like I want to because the good fellas. The, the the thing is, but but uh, I forgot his name. Your Pesci. Your Pesci. He was like, I want to. I want to. I want to see his family dead. I want to see his brother dead. I want to see his uncle dead. Like he was gone. That's what he sound like. <laughs> I want to see burned to a ground. <laughs> oh my goodness! But and then here's the thing: people showed up. I showed a video last night. People did show up. That street was packed. People came out. So we need to do more of that kind of stuff. That is a protest. That I get behind of. BLM, uh, hell no. It's peaceful. I won't say it was peaceful, but it wasn't rioting. They they know what they were doing. Also, I gotta give a shout okay. out to the I gotta give a shout out to the restaurant owner who who, who he's like, oh, you gonna make a story about me? Let me go out here and see what y'all setting up a camera. And he went but live with the camera. Just told how oh, I like that. <laughs> that was funny too. He can I that boy that black man jumped boy. He was oh shit. What the hell was that? <laughs> So you talking about you make you taking you making a story about my restaurant? I'm the owner. For those of you see what's wrong with you, no, I'm gonna open up. Are you gonna apply these orders? These ain't no orders. This is tyranny. I'm with him. I'm with that guy. Yep. A hey, hero. Then the truth. He said. He said you gonna make a story about my restaurant. Include me in the daggone video. Then don't don't just stand there, get your clip and run off like a little pansies. But you won't comply with what our demands. We can't do that. It's my restaurant. So there are people standing up, and even in your state, they have a couple. They have a couple marches and stuff like that. I mean, I, I, I'm talking about hundreds of, not like, not like a thousand people did in certain in certain parts of your state. But the more uh, the the ones that have most of those, the, the, it's a it's a dichotomy because the well no. Long Beach is Long Beach is, is 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 more democratic and people are still marching in there. So yeah, so stand up and you took away up. people. You're taking away people's livelihood. You're messing with people's money. Yeah, you're messing with people's money. And I like I and like I played with the video last night. The end of the video to go full circle. The guy was like, "Well, um, well, I mean." They could at least be, uh, well, well, no, they could, they could just pass it. Then a stimulus, stimulus check. Okay, yeah. And well, I, as I stated a long time ago on this channel, on this, on this radio show. This you're podcast. giving my money back to me. No, that's not the problem. Well, the, problem, the, problem the, the, problem, the problem is, the problem is, okay, you're sending me money, but what can I buy with it? But everything's closed. Hmm. Yep. You send me all the money you want, but if I can't, if the if the grocery store is closed, how can I buy bread? Then you go buy water. The grocery store is paper. closed. Exactly. If people are not working, you can't buy nothing. Dude, don't we have a meat shortage? Are we having like a little supply shortage of food in some places? Yeah. Yep, we do. They're probably killing all the pigs like they did before World War II to keep the food prices in our order. You know how these farms some, are. Some of them, they have to, well, they kind of have to do it. A lot of, a lot of turkeys had to, had to be killed because of that. Yeah. It's so, I mean, it's so sad that they had to waste all that food. Well, yeah, but hey, it, isn't there a better, isn't there a better way to take care of that sort of thing? Not, not as quickly. I, I thought it's so too, but after we searched it from earlier this year, it's, this was too brump. This was too uh, abrupt. You know what I mean? Yeah. It was too quick. It was. It, you think you got it, and then when you you know you even when you try to slow down, it was not enough. When, when they were doing all throwing all those milk and everything away, it's just they, it. I mean, there are ways to do it, but the process would take too long, and that milk would have spoiled. Yes. It would have spoiled. 
if they had a step to say, okay, we could turn this milk into um, powder milk and send it to places, that would be all cool. But they don't have no, they, they, they never had a contract. Okay, with they, couldn't have get, they couldn't have given it to food banks or. No, I mean, well, that's, what no, no that's, that's what I'm saying. That's what I was going to. Like, say you had oh. milk. If you had milk, the milk, would have, it was a lot of milk. So it was too much milk to even get to. They didn't, okay, it's like you don't have a contract with this company to, to, to turn their milk into powder milk. Oh. So if you got, if you, so you got to set up that contract first, or set up that thing, and then get trucks to go towards this thing instead of going to the grocery stores. It's that's what again in the video I said last at the end when I was talking about, but the guy was saying that as yeah, it, economy is too big and it's too complicated. So he, because the person oh. said they were like, oh, well, they didn't show that the essentials. Okay, you're right. They, but what you consider essentials, the government don't know what is essential because there was there was. Because what meats and stuff, okay, but the plastic to wrap the meat in, the gloves, all that stuff, they shut down. What, what are they gonna do? It's just too complex. If if so, like you would say, Kodosh, like you can watch the, like the last five minutes of the video of my last little show. You uh, you see what I talked about about that. Basically, everything was intertwined. It's too intertwined, uh, yeah. And, and if government, one broke, if one broke down, everything else broke down. And it's not even that. It's like I always said: you turn. You, people need to understand. Like I said at the beginning, you traded one evil for another evil. You're not getting rid of the evil; it's still there. It's still there. So yeah. So it, it is sucking. Now, the old school way, like what Kenoshi is saying, because I've did videos about it. You saw, I uh, did it on my, you go back to um, um, Radio T, uh, Project Open Mic, sorry, Project Open Mic on YouTube, where they were destroying cherries and stuff because, because the weather was so favorable that the cherries um, were more bountiful. Were than the yeah, and stuff like that. That right there, I with Kenoshi, that they could have done something because that's something they, they deliberately burnt um, thing. But, Overabundance, okay, but dropping dropping demand in sub in demand that quickly, that I, I don't think they could have had enough to figure that out. So yeah, that's just 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 un unfair in that regard. It sucks, but just weird. But again. Let's wait to see what um by um the Trump team does to see what we could do. This they still have time to do stuff. People are like, oh, this should be done, whatever. No, again, remember, Al Gore took a month and a half, and it was one state. These are several states. Now is it is going to be before um January twentieth? Yes, but I think we, as we see that as we saw that bomb just drop right there, that video I just played earlier. Who? If they got any more bombs like that, yeah. I have to say, I would have to say a lot of if they don't, and if the Supreme Court don't take this up, yeah, Joe and Joe, you might win, but you might have win by by cheating. I can tell you right now, a lot of people are gonna, it's basically gonna become a banana republic. They're not gonna listen yeah. to you. Yeah, which is kind of weird that this this happened in in Georgia. Which is not one of the states that's um, that's a swing state that we that, that we've talked talked earlier before. So probably this might just be the beginning of what's to come. Oh yeah, I think it is. Get ready, chaos twenty twenty is not over yet. Oh yeah. no, December, December is gonna be a banger. The fat lady didn't even warm up her voice yet. <laughs> yeah. So. Just, just letting you know how that works, people. Ah, another thing that's funny about this is, um, I have to say, is people, a lot of people have, um, um, the voters denial seeing that, hey, I voted for Joe Biden, like, damn, this is what's gonna happen. I should have never voted for him. That's your fault. I can't remember how that. That is crazy. That is crazy, but whatever. I mean, you and I, like people are actually, people are actually having voters remorse. Yeah, and then that then that that means that you're not smart. Even people who are smart, am, like doctors and stuff, and they're like, "Yeah, what's the what have I done?" I am not done? surprised. I <laughs> am not. I expected that to happen. So, eh, not surprised. No, 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 because America yeah, still has somewhat of a soul left. Yeah. So we have that, 
and last but not least the one that kills me the most is this and looking at the chat right now which is good we, we got some good numbers tonight and we will, we'll go to the we'll go through the the chat a little bit um look here's let me help you out something I'll say it once. I said it before. I think so, but I'll say it again here, and I'll do it in another video about it too. When it, if it officially happens, I'm gonna keep an eye. Let's keep an eye on this. I got because we already. I, I want to keep an eye on it because I know the media is gonna go back into, um, basically sucking ass mode. They will attack dogs with Trump, but they're gonna be back to, oh, he's such a good person, including when Kamala becomes president. Oh, the oh the 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 cover. The news oh. media gonna be like white on rice for Kamala. They're gonna cover her up no matter what. What? Tell you that right now. She could kick a baby down a ro a down a hundred foot a hundred stairs. They're gonna like, well, the baby was on the edge and she tried to save. You see her foot trying to hook her, hook the baby, but the baby did <laughs> baby just didn't want to get her down the he's, stairs. He's <laughs> leading the charge against the oppression. Enough with maternity. Enough with having children. This is the age of woman. Here is Roar. Something like that. Has Kamala or Biden spoken out at all about any of this? No. Oh, and apparently Kamala hasn't revoked her Senate seat yet? No, because she, she, no, she, can't, no, she can't. Not yet. No, she has to be it has to be official before she goes switch over. That uh, That's understandable. It's not official. Okay. Yeah. It's not official yet. Pre yeah. President-elect. President yeah. So well, yeah, she's not, yeah, but she's not. Yeah, it's not. Remember, the, the votes have not been um, certified. So, yeah. So we have that. So the reason I'm saying all this, right, this little piece I'm saying right now, because of this, look at all the people Joe Biden's hiring. He's not hiring no fresh new talent. He's not hiring Ooh. fresh new people. He's hiring the same people who's been in government for years and have made this mess to begin with exactly it's just crazy you john Kerry, he was a lying a horrible secretary of state he's not good for secretary he's trying to give it to susan rice with the whole woman crap and she was a liar and a horrible um uh, vice uh, uh spokesperson when 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 benghazi happened and she lied oh. and she lied his, but by this economic team, again, I'm I'm a dude, but I'm in a family of females, and I get that. But let's logically speak about some things here. I'm not a misogynist and all that crap. If you want to say that, go ahead, boo hoo. You're not scaring me. I don't care. But let's be honest. When Hi hiring when all dad with money, hiring all women for ec for the, your economic team, all of them. You hired just all women. Now, which is I, ridiculous, I just because they're women. Why, but I, I don't know why. But for some reason, th hearing that reminds me of a of a company that was run for two years by all all women and got shot down pretty darn quick. Well, I'm not gonna make that super comparison because there are companies that's run by women and they they work. Okay, I'm not gonna do that. Well, at but, least at, at least they know what they're doing. Yeah. Thank you. I was about to say that. Yeah, but well, that's what I'm saying. But this is this is this is just virtual. This is virtual thing at the highest. Just pick women, whatever. First of all, Simone Sanders, really, that chick don't know nothing about no daggone economics. She's just as bad as AOC, and it's just because she has a degree in economics doesn't mean she know what the hell she's talking about either. I'm like, yeah, I have a degree. Did she did she, did she pass and have that uh, that degree with flying colors? Yes, I don't think so. No, she did. She well, AOC did because she valid. She she graduated um um high honors. Valedictorian. No, what is what is comical law? Whatever they they that did. Comical Comicumulati. Yeah, from Boston College, and I'm like Boston College. What the hell were you teaching her? Because she don't know jack squat about one on one. She remember the reason why we have the reason why we have low economic uh, unemployment is because people are working two jobs. You don't know how it, how they how they do the numbers, do you? <laughs> you work one job, that's they count that. That's it. They ain't double whatever. She don't know what she's talking about, 
And Simone Sanders is just as well, too. You don't know what the heck she's talking about. I've heard some of her economic stuff. It is like, who taught you this nonsense? Oh, God. And, I look, I, and I'm a, and I have, um, and my grades were above average of economics. And even I'm like, somebody hand me a gun. And then, of course, it's funny enough, the the, lead, the head lead of the economic that Joe Biden picked, she deleted 10,000 tweets. I wonder why you need to delete 10,000 tweets. Must be something to hide. It's weird. Eh, to buy the internet. So at least some of that is in, is put somewhere. Some, but not not ten thousand worth. That's for sure. And then the funny thing about it, eh, I mean, you 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 think so? Remember, we barely heard about this. I don't know this person out of excuse me, out of hole of a wall. So you think somebody really followed her, followed this person until she got named now to really go through all of that stuff? Now, can they back go to it? As you just said, maybe. But still, yeah, they, the very they, few. They, they, they go, yeah, they could do that. But again, you will go to you gonna go through ten thousand tweets, Koshi. I'm not that. For the fine to song. I, I had to think. Here's the thing. I could give you that if it was a if that was a Republican doing that. But if it's a Democrat that that they're gonna go through the thing, the leftist thing will go through that. Oh no, no. no. If the, if that lady was a Republican, they would have. St- they would have had that plus the media plus plus Autobot doing all kind of searches in that damn thing to find anything to make her just like they did with Amy Corbett, Barrett, just like they did with her. But she's not that, so they're not gonna do it. Nope. She's on our side. She gets a pass. Exactly. Like, and, oh, she oh she can hide her stuff. No, no nothing to worry about. And as Kenoshi said, and this is a true fact, so I'm just bringing this out just to say this, okay? If you could have, if Biden could at least pick one man or something. Even if, again, if you're going to virtue signal, you you don't virtue signal 100. percent You do do a little hand me off, so you don't look too obvious, man. You know, a little obvious, wink, uh, a, a little wink and a nod. You don't full, go fully into it, because yeah, then they cut into your profits. Yeah, it just you just don't do that, man. That's just that just don't, doesn't help at all. Uh, that, don't make me raise my eyebrow. But let's yeah. let, but but let's let me say this. Let me say this though. The reason I'm saying this, I'm gonna give you two facts. It doesn't disqualify, it, but it's still two facts. Who spend the most money in, in America? Women. Yeah, women are good with money. <laughs> Who spent? Okay, so let's get it straight. There are more women in America than men. The, the, the biggest spenders and the most spenders are women, and the biggest debt by a lot, including college debt, oh. is women. Oh. Majority of those tri- that one point five trillion dollars is women. Just letting you know how that works out. So, and of course, the person who's in charge of the of Biden's economic team came from a thing called the Progressive Fund for a Future. Ugh, that, by that name, I don't even like it. <laughs> by that name, I don't like it. Too many red flags in my little title. Red flags, man, if that ain't flares. Hell, I might, even, Rick Flair. I, might, I might even get a Ric Flair up in there. Woo! Woo! So that's, that is some, that's something, but whatever. So. It's just so funny that we remember these are people who've been in government for years who caused the problem and they make a lot and of still money. Hasn't, uh, yeah, made a lot of money. Still hasn't looked. Yeah, let me rephrase that. Made a lot of money on someone else's um, backbone. Mm-hmm. Us, ours. Yep. All I know is they uh, they just did that. So I'm saying. They do it, make it like Anderson said. They're making the, back, the money on on our backs, okay? And then, yeah, just whew, just crazy. It's just crazy how this is gonna gonna work out. So we'll see again. And people are like, oh, well, well, you know, you know, again, as I said before, people are like, oh, well, you know, Trump keep firing people, blah blah blah. I'm like, yeah, if you run a company and you and people f up, you fire them. You don't do like they, you don't do like gov, like other governments and keep them on. That's stupid. Of what Trump did in, did in the first two years, 
Should have fired John Bolton straight ahead. I mean, he yeah, and he fought out more people. I think it was like in, yeah, like I, I forgot the number, but he fought a lot of people from the VA because they were doing horrible things to the, the daggone vets. When George Bush got in there, oh, I'm gonna help with the VA. He didn't help Jack Squat. Obama, I'm gonna do the same thing. Didn't do nothing. I'm not surprised. I was the only one who who, who did something. Now again. We'll see what happens. Like I said, we'll think I'm not being that, but it's just funny how that works out. So you pick people who can't get fired, who don't know, who don't know a lick of, lick of what was in the real world. Because remember, John Kerry said, remember back in 2012, John Kerry was like, um, oh, please, Russia ain't going to do nothing to America and on our allies. <laughs> Tell that to Ukraine. Tell that to Georgia. Tell that to S Syria. Because uh, they say differently, sir. <laughs> Hell, this is this is sad. This is sad. I, I want to bring up, tell that to the Malaysian airline I got shot out of the air. Uh, yeah. That was bad. Anything happen out of that one? No. Nope. But John Kerry, they're going to do nothing, right? Okay. Well, as long as I don't know about it, I don't see it. That means they didn't do anything. <laughs> okay. Well, again. That's what we, we, we want to say. That ain't gonna happen now. Oh. Yep, whatever. It is what it is. I leave it alone because it's just so my stuff is just so stupid. Yeah, we don't have another exit in or time, no. <laughs> so let me go through some of the um let me go through some of the chat here and and go th and see what it is. We have again a couple of people on on thing. YouTube's the video will be up on YouTube once again. Just technical difficulties that Trip said was going on, and I just like screw it. I just pre-record. I'll record it and upload it as, it as a video on YouTube to so be easier for those on YouTube. So you can catch this later on if you want to share it to people. It'll be on YouTube pretty shortly. Other than that, Facebook, Temple FM. Thank you on face on Facebook again. Twenty four people watching. That's good. Thank you. Um, and on basically on Temper FM last night, you guys again, y'all did a good number. Now we got um 5,506 people watching, uh, uh, watching slash listening. So that's good. So let's just go through what we have here. Give me a second here. Let me see my eyes a little bit. Oh, let me see. All right, I'm ready now. Okay, so Blake Colleth from the UK. All the judges that rule against President Trump's lawsuit should be charged. What more proof do you need? Uh, well, again, I don't know about that. Sadly, this is not a nation where you can hang a judge. I only. Who will judge? You know, I was thinking about this. Who will judge the judges? I know, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's going to be the people that judge the judges? Nah, you're looking too much Jay at this. Got you. Jay Clegg from um, France. Once again, this confirms only the way, only way Democrats could win is to cheat. Yeah. That's what I said. Karen... <laughs> Struggle, struggle hand from Germany. This would never get old. Why do people think that there's no cheating in elections? I don't know myself, dear. I don't know. Confirmation bias. That's true. That is that. But again, when you got li literally, you have that right. That's that video is like I said, it's damning. That video is super. You, you can't. You literally got. You literally caught the kid's hand in the cookie jar with the cookie and it bits around his mouth and there's no and it's like the last cookie in his jar and the jar was full and you're saying yeah I, I i saw a big chunk in that hearing and there was a woman that was like that's not you know she was acting like nothing happened like the whole <laughs> thing has been debunked and i'm just kind of like and, and even the woman who was showing the showing the camera 
footage it's like it's right there on camera lady exactly. what what, do you, what more do you need how much how blinders are your blinders well it's like that joke are you gonna believe me or your lying eyes like <laughs> i know right <laughs> the lying eyes they're cheating hearts yep if they right. don't believe it hap doesn't happen well when team money won john 16 well what's the big story Oh, he stole the election. All oh, Russian interference, yada, yada, yada. Now that it's somebody who's not him, oh, it doesn't happen. No, it's 100% secure. That's the part, of, that's the part is like, y'all, you, you can't be that stupid to think that last four years ago, oh, he's not elected. It was it was rules. It was rigged and everything. Literally now, they're showing you that it's rigged. Showing you the evidence. Oh, no, 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 no. Just like as I told Triple M, uh, I was Alyssa Manalo, talking about let's come together let's be i'm like get the uh, what uh, really you had, you, oh, had years. Years, you had years to say that four years and you're saying that now oh get the heck out of here greg lapointe from france all these shenanigans happen in the middle of the night when most americans are sleeping when most crimes happen Sure. Yeah. That was true. Cela, Cela, oh boy. In France, Cela Lorray, Cela Lorray. All these people put in a room after the announcement was was closed needed to be arrested. Fuck, including that black chick. She needs to. Oh. <laughs> she needs her. to get hanged. She needs to and get hanged. That's what. Well, a lot of these people like. Look, I, I I know we're not allowed to talk like this, but again, what's going like, on here is treason, which is punishable by death. For the record, people, the guy talking is also black, so don't worry, don't worry. I'm the only, I'm the odd one out. <laughs> we all are minorities by by American standards. We all minorities. Yeah. Um, Gary Gunn from UK. This isn't just a bunch of independent rogue leftists. They were getting, they were, where were they getting instructions from? Because, yeah, because in the video, she did said that the, the same black lady, whatever, she's the one who set up the table at 8.30 where all the, all those um, boxes came from, with all the ballots. She's the one who set up the table. Excuse me? That is, that is crazy. Uh wow, yeah, it, it sucks. Chris Ackerman from um Germany. My local news just reported on the Georgia voting fraud that that's uh that not what took place. Their logic explained for the boxes under the table. Even we even with the proof of fraud, they de they're denying the proof. Um that's weird. You're in you're in UK in um, Germany. Sorry, in Germany. Wow, this is how they spread this thing. So your local news tell you that that was um, that that did not take place. Uh, it has dates on the damn video. It has timestamps. Yeah, it is. So let me get this straight. I mean, that ge German news was basically parroting what. Basically, I'm, I'm not. I, was I mean, they, they, I mean, they have. CNN Europe and stuff like that, so I won't be surprised. I don't know what these local yeah, yeah, so I, was... I can't say that. Um, so, um, Jordan... Yeah, when it's the local level turning their back against you. Ooh. Yeah. Jordan Suswinski from Poland. Kamala and Biden probably bail out all those felons out of jail so they could vote. Uh, where's that movie? And I mean, where's that sexual bop clip? I uh, know, right? I, I have, I literally do have the clip on the thing where it says, uh, you can't keep, uh, let me see. I do have it right uh, where Anis is talking about, which is this right here. We are you clip number three. I'll be back. You can't keep the Democrats out of the White House forever. And when they get in, I'm back on the streets oh, with all my criminal buddies. <laughs> there you go. So I just played a clip. I've just played your clip. Uh, Anis. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> hey, I, I, I'm happy to fill your request, sir. I'm happy to fill your request. 
Um, Chazelle Salon from British. If this rig rig election, okay, if this rig election that's rife with fraud and abnormalities is certified, and Trump loses this final battle, the American and Western civilization is dead. God help us all. Yeah. So yeah, there's no pretty much. War. Yeah. Mike Matthews from Germany. If you're not cheating, you're not a Democrat, Joe Biden. <laughs> <laughs> well, again, I played at the beginning of the clip. Remember, I played at the beginning when he said Joe Biden himself said this was the biggest. You guys help us to pull off the biggest voter fraud in American history. He literally but said he, that. Yeah, but but you know what? Uh, the way you read that basically. Um, it's, it's basically comparable to if you don't uh, if you don't know if you if you have to vote for me or for Trump that you're not black. <laughs> oh, well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Kathy Miller from UK. Why does this? Oh, that, this is women. This is women. <laughs> this is a woman saying this to another woman. Boy. <laughs> Oh, why does Stacy? Why does Stacy spend so much money on braces and not on a Weight Watchers? <laughs> hey, have you guys seen that clip from Michigan? The woman in the uh, with the witness in the uh, in one of the uh, one of the poll one of the poll workers. Yeah. And oh, I haven't. Uh, well, basically, the, the the woman was confronting one of the poll workers and like, yeah, I signed an affidavit, and if I get caught lying, you know, I could go to jail. The Jew, because he was, he was, uh, he was saying, yeah, there's nothing wrong with the vote. Uh, the votes were fine. Nothing to see here. So, well, we know how that works out. Um, let me see, T. B. Smith. I never seen a suitcase that looked exactly like a plastic tote bin. Okay, I got you. And again, that's what they're using as, as I get what you're saying. And that's what people be saying. Like, oh, well, it's debunked because it's not a suitcase. Okay, the lady says suitcase. Okay, I got you. She meant to say it made no difference. It makes no difference. I don't care. As there I told, was, as, there was as, a black box full of, you know, full of ballots that shouldn't well, have been there. Yeah. I don't care if you call, and I can't say what I said to these guys after because I was. I don't care if you call it if you call it um, a pig. I don't care if you call it um, whatever you want to call it. It was a box that had ballots, and they were feeding it to the machine illegally. That's just what it is. No matter how you change it, that's just what it is. I wouldn't care if it's, if it's even a flashlight. Um. Yeah. Um. Hong. Um. I said yeah because right now. A person they replied to him, um, Hong Tobels from London. Irregardless, why were they table? Why were they tabling votes without observers on both sides in the room when you know it's illegal? Can you answer that one, smart guy? Bet, uh, bet you can't. Also, why did they lie and say that the pipe burst? Which, yeah, that that's what that was another thing. I forgot about that. Oh yeah, oh yeah. yeah. I remember. I I heard that in the hearing as well. Yeah, About they the said they said that, a, that that there was a pipe, a switch pipe had burst. This was on CNN and Fox live when they said people need to stop so they could stop the counting of votes. They, oh yes, they did that live. So they they why did they so they basically finishing? They lie and said the pipe burst in the stadium forcing evacuation when no such event occurred. Please explain all that, my good sir. Bet you can. Yeah, the pipe the pipes just magically burst. At and the most and, 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 and repaired and repaired so quickly with, with no, no evidence. I could tell <laughs> you when a, when a water main or sewage pipe bursts, I could tell you from witnessing it up close and personal. That don't take that don't that, that takes you would notice it one and two, you would have it don't take it. a few hours. No. And the, and the thing is that I guess it wasn't a pipe burst or something. Nothing burst. And, yeah. Thing, it was a lie. Yeah. Yeah. That's what it is. Quirk, so Kurt Walmack 
from from UK. Smells like jo Joseph Stalin's corpse. Sound like those who vote decide nothing, and those who count their vote, and those who count decide everything. Eesh. Yep, that is true. Damn, that is true. Mm, that's shock. Yeah. Uh, those who those who vote decide nothing. Those who count decide everything. That's that's that hits the heart right there. Whoa. Ooh. Yeah, that's actually a plot point from a game called Killer Seven. Yeah, yeah. All of <laughs> you're right about that one. But I'm just saying, he's just quoting Stalin in that regard. So it's just like, yeah. Because again, remember Stalin said, "As long as you find useful idiots, you can control anything." Yep. Oh, we have those in abundance here. And all over the world, really. Um, yeah, uh, shout outs, um, uh, um, Kathy Trent, the dirtiest, the dirtiest people want us to believe that this was the cleanest election ever <laughs> <laughs> from, from, from UK. No. And also, are you, did you see what, um, the Goya CEO said? Yes, I did. It was like, we live in a land of free, but we don't have no freedom of expression. It's true. Yep. It's true. Damn, he doesn't just make good products, but he's on point. He is. <laughs> that man has my respect. Kuda song, brother. Kuda song. Seth Aaron from Egypt. Scholars must hear this case before we go into a civil war. I don't know about all that. Okay. I think we're gonna go into you're 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 looking at a a, a bunch of seventy two million hungry Americans. To, well, I, the reason I say that because this south. person, no, I get it because he's from his his account is from Egypt, so they went through that stuff, so they know what that that s is really about. <laughs> and there's and there and their votes more less secure than Americans, so you hoo hoo. Because remember, they had people they, they, when they had a Muslim brother who come through. They were, they were riding on the horse and camels, whipping people on their backs. Hey, remember, there was uh, um, I, I, I forgot if it was this um, this someone someone in the Senate or or, or the House that basically told, um, basically advised Trump to um, um, oh crap. Let's have martial law before there's a civil war happening. Nah. Like, really? Uh, nope. Uh, John. Well, like Pop said, talked about, uh, you know, yeah, let's, just, let's just have a do over. <laughs> I, I don't think that's going to happen, but let's just have it's a do over. It's not going to happen, but yeah, it needs to. Well, we could see so paper. Got, like you said, so, so we got paper ballots and we see the numbers and that. Don't use no damn machines because they, they could be used for anything. No. Other than machine the called the minion. My guy, you can't write this shit up. My bad. No, no cursing. <laughs> you, you can't. You're right. You can't write it up. Or whatever. You're you're correct. And so let me go with um. Benital Floyd. One. The only one thing that matters right now that y'all that your president doesn't give up. Well, he's fighting it as best as he could. John White from UK. When someone says. He's the real deal. Just when someone says he's the real deal, slap them before they can get the other word out. <laughs> slap yourself. Which word, real or deal? And so he's the real. Um, he is the deal. Um, someone says he is the deal. Uh, real deal, something like that. You kind of got a dash so you could not finish the word. That in the, in the I'm looking at the, the quote right here. Ah, uh, um, um, Gunai Burundi from France. 
I think this is going to what you guys were talking about before. Rudy Giuliani is really a true Paul Rivera, and he is on a tear going through all these things. I'm like, yeah. And like you said, Kanoshi, yeah, these guys got some energy, all right. Lean machine. Yep. They got some energy, all right. Scott Williams. <laughs> from UK when Stacey Adams smiles I'm not sure if she should smile back or kick <laughs> smile or death <laughs> yeah, crack it. he crack it oh lord let's just say I'm not surprised and she's just she's a horrible person too sorry she is She's a woman. I don't give a dang. Justina Willis. If America doesn't do a thorough investigation and late an election nationwide, voter confidence will vanish, and our election will and election will have to be zero integrity. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's just best to go through this and get it over with. Stop playing around. Yep. As like like, 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 she, like she said, like said. In 2016, oh, the Russians helped it and everything else. And now it's like, oh, nothing happened. Nothing happened. What? You can't have it both ways. Okay. Just too easy. Yeah. If, if nothing happened, let's do, a, let's do a complete audit. No, not a recount. An actual audit. Two, they're two different things. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. If there's, nothing to hide, if there's nothing to hide, then why bother hiding it? it yep. David, if you, didn't, on if, you, it. if you didn't steal your brother's toy, it's uh, you know, let's uh, let, you know, lift up the sheets. Let's see what's under the bed. <laughs> no, there's nothing to see here. I've never seen my brother's toy. I've never played with it. I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> oh god, that <they laughs> sounds so awkward. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so it's just like whatever. Exactly, whatever. Is so, I mean, they're they're so they're so bad at lying. Is this so bad at true. lying? That is so true. They're so bad at lying. Promise. And also, they lie so bad at people who don't care. And then also, so bad at cheating. Cause you would think, yeah, I'm happy that they had cameras there. I'm like, geez, they didn't care. They just trying to. They didn't. They didn't think that the cameras would catch them or whatever. They just went. It's not only like one camera, like four cameras. Either they were that cocky, that desperate, or they just stopped caring. You didn't. You didn't have anybody disable the cameras. You didn't have an excuse ready to, for why the cameras were disabled. I had the weather Weinstein case. Like, sorry, you, sorry. <laughs> like you didn't. You didn't think this through. Like nobody thought this through at all. No. Like nobody thought no. this through. All they thought was we got it. We got these fake violets or whatever. Let's put it in the machine as quick as can and run, run up the count. That's all it was. I, mean, I know stories about a lot of people who've been uh, disappeared over allegedly maybe having some information. <laughs> but I guess there was too many people with too many information at once. You couldn't make got, them all disappear that quickly. Well, got killed in a car accident. Mm -hmm. uh, right, car accident. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, we're dead men talking. Ah, uh, whatever. Hey, you deserve hey. it for life. We haven't. Whatever. whatever. Hey, hey, at, at, at least you guys go with a bang. I am an I am not American outsider, so they might. Uh, you'll uh, you'll be spared. Oh no, I might be I, I might be treated for spy. Whatever again, y'all clowning around. Okay. <laughs> All right. Drizek Ma Milos, oh boy, Milos My My Poland, which, you know, Russian, so it could be that. Sorry, just whatever. Could you believe that, uh, could you believe that Cuomo was saying that the president had nothing to show? He was just rambling. That's why we did not show his video. Yeah, well, Cuomo, Cuomo protects his brother. He was showing he, charts. He, he had charts that you, isn't, that, did yeah. you guys ever see? 
watch yeah. the video? Yeah, I, I see short shorts. I saw. Yeah. I, I, I hate these people. These people need to suffer. But it's too. weird that, again, oh. your brother's a governor. <laughs> your brother's a governor. You're an anchor, so-called anchor. He's not an anchor. He's an opinion, an opinion piece. But they call it, new CNN called it anchor. And, you're, and of course, you're surprised. Again, who who's the one who blocked the story from that quote that his brother put 6,300 6, people in, in um, old homes with COVID? He did. Ooh. Which he should go to jail. So is his brother. should freaking go to jail, too. Yep. Hey, there's four people. Now, that's a mafia right there. It is. It is that. Um, you know, so yeah, that's how that works out with that. George Koli go out. Just saying that right now. Colicione from Italia, so he's basically my <laughs> That's what happened. And here's the funny part. When Fredo appears on the screen, my iPad mostly went sitting across the room. Good Lord, I cannot stand a liar. <laughs> 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 hey, keep it, keep it one hundred, brother. Keep it one hundred. You keep it together. Yeah, I like that one though. <laughs> From Italia, when Fredo appears on the screen, my iPad almost went flying across the room. Lord, I can't stand that. I can't stand that liar. Yeah, I feel you, brother. I feel you. I feel you. And I had it, um, Linda Teralaki from Poland. When I hear that, when I hear the term mainstream media, I just think of a few wicked, um, treason, treasonous, um, CEO who are trying to destroy American people. Eh? Can't say not really. I get where you're coming from. That's for sure. I bet they don't, they don't even know about it. <laughs> Kevin Corson from Germany. George's hearing was amazing. The video alone was a bombshell, and the other witness was just icing on the fraud cake. <laughs> fraud cake. <laughs> That's yep. a good one. That's a good one. So, yeah. So who watched the uh, Who watched the Georgia hearing yesterday, or any of it? Saw no, any of it? I saw. I, like I said, to see the video. I saw that when it happened, and people. You saw people's mouths was like. Like you said some people's uh, like, oh, and other people's like, yeah, you ain't see, like you said, the craziness of what people are saying. It's like, what are you talking about? Yeah. As, you, as again, your lying eyes or what you hear? Hell, I saw what I saw. Yeah. I can't, uh, can't say that's a deep fake. No, it ain't. Not, no one is not. Rusty Highlander from, from Scotland. Scotland, yay. Wow. Or loan. <laughs> Got you. Let's just throw out the election and have a fight to the death. It'll be more easy <laughs> that way. <laughs> well, you know what? I, could, I wouldn't I, mind I seeing. Could, I, if you, would... you know what? I'll be honest. These little Antifa guys, they always do the, whatever. In numbers, they, they they will crowd a single person, whatever. But man, when they, when people, when when, when something steps up to them, you think anti, you think that little anti would have gone against that get the 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 people in Staten Island from last night, they would have oh, no. got their ass whooped. Oh yeah, oh, they would have pissed themselves and ran away. Like oh uh, yeah, they would have never fought those guys last night on, uh, on Staten Island. Red hood, yellow streaks. They'd be like, you think that you could stop us? Uh, speaking again, Italian. Speaking of mafia, oh. Oh, look at, uh, hey, hey, Tony, look at this guy here. He got his little mask on. He come in here with his little ball of concrete. He think he's good, eh? <laughs> hey, Vinny, show him how we do things here in Staten Island. <laughs> yeah. uh, oh, you want to be my brother? They would have effed them up. <laughs> I might as well even join. You guys. might be wearing some concrete shoes, my friend. Oh my goodness. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> it is what it is. Funny. Hey, why apologize for the laughter, eh? Um, Austin, uh, Lucas Suede. 
Okay, and again, from Germany. These people say they hate capitalism so much, but they employ. Oh, wow. That's good. That's good. I'm sorry. I just had to read it. These people say they hate capitalism so much, but they employ, they, they, but they employ by spending a lot of money to cheat. That is true. That is so messed up. That is so messed up. You hate capitalism, but you put out the money to cheat, though. Oh, boy. Wow. That's a good one, girl. That is a good one. I I I, I, I probably recommend you for that. He's single. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know about they don't we don't do that, sir. Yeah, I hope you you learn ge German. Oh, but uh, like I said, and also I want to thank everybody here because a lot of people said last night was a good show. Um. I'm not reading those because because that's self administration. But I'm just saying it. Hey, a lot of people like last night's show was was pretty good. The way that you talk about the virus was pretty good. I, I'm just random off saying they like, look at the certain things and just reading off. So yeah. Thank you, thank you a lot. I'm like I said, I try my best to keep my show as is. I am working on some of the dead air a little bit, but again, technical. If this, I am a one man show, so technical difficulties happen and. As long as I get my point across as best as you guys see it, it's all good. That's the whole point. So again, thank you guys for watching it, um, the show and and people running through. So with that, I think you know, we, I think we 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 did we got into as much as we can. Oh so, yes. I mean, so let's so, nah. so, huh? The only oh, thing one now more thing. is the way. Okay, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. One more thing, they're trying to uh, people are getting caught trying to steal the. Uh, trying to steal the georgia runoff so that's yep there and then you have and then, and then, you, and then, then yeah. you have other um like they're like sydney powell and everything they were former democrats saying don't vote for i'm like what kind of nonsense is that yeah but yeah that's just weird itself because it's over former weird. democrats are saying what oh so the, the the woman who sydney powell she was a former democrat oh okay and but they're saying, saying don't vote for don't vote for trump if there's a runoff in, in georgia uh, that's weird. okay in that case we that? will i know right hope you do but we'll see how that works out how that goes right there so other than that guys we're gonna call it a night so let's give it our uh, final thoughts um and you have anything else you want to add now yes we're in the final months of the year i know for a lot it's been probably one of the worst years of their lives for others about average but, you know, just hang in there. <clears throat> just like it's, it seems like every other day, people are telling you all oh, hope is lost <clears throat> from the safety of their house, <clears throat> from their couch. <clears throat> Maybe you. don't listen and get out there. Got you. And I'll bring this up quickly before we go because the music's already playing. To like to what um, Triple M said. One of the ladies last night I showed, which was funny how she said that this is dangerous and stuff. And I laughed as she was like, oh, we're going to ban outside. You told people to go outside to eat food. And now you're banning that. Even though, and she, she was one of the ones who went right there to eat, eat outside the rest of them before the ban. The thing that came about that is all the science so far has said this, this, this disease spreads more inside. So it's just okay. weird these people say yeah. it sounds that is weird. That's to say, they don't know what they're talking about. They just, they just, they just like the power. So it is what it is. So what about you, Kenoshi? Anything else you want to add? As you, as you um, this, this, this year is crazy. And I think this, this month is going to end with a banger. So, uh, uh, you know, I won't be surprised. Scary, so. Hey, you might get a Christmas surprise and be like, oh, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You might get a Christmas surprise. You might be right about that. You put them, sir. What about you? Uh, 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 to that la to that lady in California, yeah, you know what? I'll give her ten points for actually doing it bef uh, before that that ban took effect. But I'll take away five points for not even going through the gu going for the guideline, and take even more ten points for being at the age that she is at the risk. Or so that what? That's that? negative fifteen or something. I take another 10 points away because her, her her reasoning for shutting out outside she blatantly blatantly went against because she said that the 
be because uh, the waitresses and stuff can't stick themselves. So, okay, so you went to give the waitress COVID yourself too, if you get it? That makes no sense. Yes. So she, so she made herself go, uh, come out worse than what she came in. Exactly. Well, for me, like I said, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. I, I'll, I'll, like I said, I'll, uh, as long as, 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 as we got a balance of the, the Senate does a flip, I have no problem to the degree. But again, after watching that video that I posted that just or, or I played just earlier, that is crazy. You can't <laughs> tell. That is too, but that is on the point. You cannot tell me, oh, that's not happening. Plus other videos, videos of other stuff of people saying stuff. Yes. That's just ridiculous. Eight, eight, 708 percent voter uh, registration over. It's a problem. That video, that's a problem. You can't let people count. That's a problem. A lot of dead people voting. That's all problem. Apparently, so as well. All that to combine just causes crazy. Thriller. So, so yeah, it's just, yeah, it's just yeah. yeah. So it's just okay. that itself. Just it's bad. But hey. You know how it goes. This is again is Project Over. Um, this is the site for Project Over Mike. You catch us about the same time next week, Friday. Or we'll, we'll do topics, do stuff, what's, what's going on. Also, remember you can check out our videos on Project Over Mike on YouTube. Again, Pepper Fem guys, you can go there. Just as Edison said, just subscribe. You ain't gotta watch today. Just just press the button subscribe if you have an account. To be honest, and then just. Watch it still on Tempo FM. That'll be helpful to the channel and helpful to us. Again, I'm not asking for money. I don't, my, this, the channel this, on YouTube, I don't do this for money. The, it's not funny for money. I would like to get to that point, but I got to build up and do uh, this taking time to do all this stuff. So help us out there. Yeah, start somewhere. Yeah. Project just sharing my, the message helps. Yeah. Project over my T3Gmail.com is the, the direct contact if you want to. Twitter. Instagram project open mic, you know that. Like I said, there's stuff coming at the end of the year. Um, 2021, there's gonna be a lot of stuff added into it. Let's you'll see how that goes. Other than that, hope you guys have a good weekend, a good Saturday, Sunday. Catch us next time. Remember, people are stupid, individuals are smart. Be that smart individual, okay? That's how I always do it. Be that smart individual. So, with that, have a good night and a good weekend. Peace out.